Hi, my name is Brian. Uh, I'm working with Trackers Northwest. Uh, I'll be teaching evening classes and wilderness skills all together. Uh, today I'm going through just the basic concept of flint napping. Uh, this working stone into making a point or an arrowhead. Uh, I'll be using a glass bottle right now uh, outside of uh, what you can, the same process you use for stone uh, and all different sorts, but glass is something that you'll find throughout everywhere, much more likely than uh, stone in a lot of different parts. So I just want to go over the basics. Starts with breaking the bottle. What you want to do is break an inch just above the bottom with a rock. Uh, you can put a piece of leather over it to help watch uh, for debris, but basically, take it. What you're left with is a nice thick piece of glass on the bottom. But first we go through the main process of flaking. And the flakes are what you need to do to make a, an arrowhead or a point. So you gotta be able to make flakes and know where they go before you can actually make the point. And the trick to it is knowing that every time you hit a stone, it breaks off at a 45 degree angle to whichever angle you're hitting it at. Uh, so right now I'm just trimming off these edges with a rock to get off the main bulking. And right now this is called percussion, uh, percussion flaking, and where you hit it with another, uh, hit one stone with another stone. Then uh, after I've gotten this main thick part off, I go into pressure flaking, which is the same concept as percussion flaking, but you push off the flakes rather than hitting them off. And the reason you only need to push them off is because they're much smaller pieces and you don't need a, as much pressure applied and you can be more precise with your angles. So I'm gonna knock this piece out real quick. So I'm just about done with this arrowhead. Uh, I am just putting in some notching to help lash the arrow to the uh, to the arrowhead. Um, you want to put in grooves that won't keep the string from cutting, uh, as the blade is very very sharp. Uh, right, just about done. You also want to make sure on the back of them that they're very dull also or else it'll split into your arrow shafts whenever you shoot. So, a couple flakes here. Flipping continually as this is a proper technique to receive flakes off of both sides. You want both sides to be even. Sometimes you may have little trouble areas and if you have trouble areas it's always important to just adjust your angle. This is all just a game of angles. And... and voila, a very simple, but very usable arrowhead. You can even adjust minor adjustments. Always want to make sure the tip is sharp. All the thing that an arrowhead does is it creates a better penetrating point than bone or wood. So actually an arrowhead this size, whether people might call this a bird point, will bring down the biggest bear in Alaska. Put on the right arrow with the right poundage of bow. It, it is just meant for cutting and making the arrow go deeper. So a glass bottle to an arrowhead that'll bring you food in under five minutes, under 10 minutes, uh, roughly in that area. So this is a, a quick basics on flint napping and hope you come to the classes.